Hello YouTube world. I'm going to show you today how to draw a isosceles triangle in OpenSCAD. Now, for those who don't know what an isosceles triangle is, that is a triangle that has two equal sides. That's it. Very, very simple. Um, so, we're going to start like usual with a module. I'm just going to call it ISO triangle. I can't be bothered typing out the whole thing. It helps if I put an underscore there. Okay. Now, we're going to pass a few variables onto it. Uh, the way we're going to describe this one, the way we're going to have it in there, is that we're going to describe the length of the bottom, which is going to be the odd one out, and we're going to describe the length of it. The height of it, depending on how you look at it, um, and that will give us a triangle with a very specific side and two automatically generated lengths based on how tall it is. Um, so, I'm going to call the first one side. Not much else to call it. I'm going to use the word tall because. Whenever you draw one of these things, typically that's on paper. It's that's how you look at it. It's x amount tall. Um, we want the option of being able to do the rounded edges as well. Very handy. You can you can do pointy ones if you wanted to, just by setting that value to point one or point oh oh one, something stupid like that. Uh, and we want our triangle height. So that's the basics over there. And we're going to call it, otherwise nothing will happen when we press F5. So let's make it 100 more wide at the bottom. Uh, 150 high. 5mm uh, radius with a 10mm extruded height. That's probably one way of putting it. Um, we're going to wrap the whole. We're going to do this by producing three cylinders wrapped in the hole command. Nothing special there. So, first thing we want to do is we want to create the first cylinder, which will be here. Another one will be here, and another one will be up there somewhere. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a translate. Um, side divided by two, um, and because our positioning of our cylinders is based on the center of them, we want to do minus the corner radius. We don't want to move it anywhere vertically, so that's that. Um, our cylinder corner. Radius. Triangle height. And we should see a cylinder right there. Now, uh, like the other two times we've done cylinders, so I've done uh, triangles, we've had this, we've had this issue where the, um, it's not really an issue, it's how you draw it. The uh, cylinder is sitting on top of the line, on top of the zero zero point on the y-axis, so we want to shift that that way up a bit, but we don't want it to affect the rest of it, we don't want it to affect the position. So what we're going to do, not the position, uh, we want to shift the whole triangle up because the bottom of it is going to sit across all that. So we're going to translate the entire hull upwards on the uh, along the y-axis. So for that one we're going to use the corner radius. This is pretty much what we've done on the other the other two triangles as well. And there we go. Now we want to create our other triangle which should sit somewhere there. So same bit of time we're going to copy and paste. Okay, I'm going to do 
negative so minus side so negative side and because we want to shift it that way so we're going to change this to a plus and there we go so we've asked for a we've asked for 100 mil or 100 wide on the bottom and that's what we've got so it's right up there on the 50 marks now our next cylinder is going to go somewhere up there we've asked for 150 so it should pop up somewhere around there uh, we're going to do a simple translate I'm not moving it anywhere on the x-axis so it's ok I'm going to use the tall because that's where it is minus the corner radius and we also want to remove it twice we want to subtract it twice. So corner radius times two. So take into account because we want it to be based off the bottom edge. Yeah. And we put in our cylinder. And there we go. We now have a isosceles triangle, which is 100 wide at the bottom, like we asked for. 50, so 150 tall. So there's the 100 marker, there's the 200 marker, there's the 150 marker, and it's right up against that. Um, as usual, we can make them a pointy corner. Doesn't see that still works fine. Um, Make it 10. And there we go. Nice and simple.